everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. We are playing some more Historic on Magic Arena, and we are playing a pretty spicy brew that was brought to us by one of our good friends. Uh, he goes by the name of BB Livid on YouTube. Uh, you can check him out. His link will be down below. So go uh, check out BB Livid's YouTube channel. Give him a like and a subscribe. That would be awesome as well. And thank you again for this awesome deck. This deck, it looks like a lot of fun. I'm pretty excited to play it. So, all right, with uh, that being said, before we hop into the, into the deck, I do want to uh, remind everybody and tell everybody we have some exciting news coming on right now. We are sitting at right about 980 subscribers as of the recording of this video. So we need about 20 more subscribers because once we hit to 1,000, um, that is essentially our first huge ultimate goal. We're going to do a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already to help us get there. Because, you know, again, uh, once we hit 1,000, we actually start, you know, making fractions of a percent of pennies, uh, you know, per view, you know, and making a little bit of a spare pocket change once, uh, once that happens. So, But I'd really like to give back um, with giveaways. So... Yeah, so hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon to be notified of when these videos go live, and leave a comment down below with what you uh, what you think about this deck, what you think about the channel, anything, uh, any of your thoughts in particular, especially with the huge annou uh, announcements of the uh, bannings today that happened uh, just a couple hours ago. Uh, if you're not aware, um, uh, they did some bannings in Historic and, and uh, Standard. They banned Fires of Invention. They banned Agent of Treachery. And also they changed how companions work. And now you have to uh, pay three mana during your turn, uh, only when you can play a sorcery, uh, in order to put the companion from your companion zone into your hand. And then you still have to cast it like normal after that. So pretty big changes. Um, so yeah, so tell me what you think uh, below. So uh, with that being said, let's hop into today's deck. And we are calling it the Divine Plague. So this deck uh, really is kind of ridiculous in the in the sense that it is trying to combo off with like 18 different cards. Um, those cards being one of them being uh, Divine Visitation, obviously as the uh, divine part of the name. Uh, if one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, that many 4-4 white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance are created. So we want this in play. We want two virulent plagues in play. And I know how ridiculous that sounds because creature tokens get minus two, minus two. Well... Why would we want to give creatures minus four, minus four with these in play while we have a divine visitation making four, four angels for us? Well, the answer to that is Bishop of Wings. Now, Bishop of Wings is a two mana one four, and it says whenever an angel enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. So every time one of these angel tokens comes into play, we're going to gain four life. And then whenever an angel uh, token uh, or whatever the angel we control dies we're going to create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying however since the divine visitation says anytime we make tokens we instead make angels we're going to make a 4-4 so what's going to happen is the 4-4 angel is going to die because of the virulent plagues that's going to trigger the bishop of wings to make an angel that angel is going to come into play we're going to gain four life and then that angel's immediately going to die so essentially, we have infinite life here because it's just a never-ending loop. This, the uh, the game's just going to see that. It's just going to keep going in circles and circles and circles and circles. And we're just going to gain all the life. But we can't really break out of that loop. So we need a way to kill our opponent. And how do we do that? We have two different ways. We have Cruel Celebrant, which is a creature that says whenever another creature or planeswalker we control dies, each opponent loses one life and we gain one life. So every time one of those tokens just immediately dies and leaves the battlefield, they're going to get hit for one. And then the same thing happens with Bastion of Remembrance. Anytime uh, a creature we control dies, they're going to lose a life and we're going to gain one life. So essentially, we're just trying to just trigger this um, machine gun, so to speak, and just make tokens, make tokens, make tokens. And they're just going to die. They're going to die. They're going to die. We're going to gain life. They're going to die. They're going to gain life. And it's just like an infinite, it's an infinite loop that um we can't really break out of um the only way they would have to have some kind of removal spell uh, at instant speed to stop the cycle but we're just hoping that doesn't happen so um what other cards do we have in the deck that actually um do things with that well we we have an idyllic tutor we have a couple of these so we can search for a library for an enchantment put it in, reveal it put it in our hand 
So this is going to let us search out the missing pieces, like maybe the divine uh, visitation if we need that, maybe a duplicate copy of Virulent Plague or the Bastion of Remembrance if we haven't drawn that yet. We also have um, Kaya's Rats. These are just in case we're playing against a, a creature or an aggro deck and we're getting overwhelmed and we need to reset the board. We also have Baffling End, kind of for the same reason. This is going to um, take small creatures off the board. It's going to slow the game down. It's going to put us at a pace that we can hopefully deal with. We also have Omen of the Deads. These are uh, a flash spell that lets us return a creature from our graveyard to our hand. Um, this is just in case one of our Bishop of Wings dies or a Cruel Celebrant dies and we need a way to get it back. And then we also have Raise the Alarm. Now, Raise the Alarm for two mana. We're going to create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens uh, at instant speed. Again, we're not really looking to make 1-1s. One, we're looking to make 4-4s four, because... If we have a Divine Visitation in play, these become two 4-4s four for two mana, which is pretty ridiculous if you think about the, the cost. And on top of that, we are playing uh, 24 land, if I remember correctly. Yep, 24 land. There's the breakdown of the land. Now, um, when BB Livid had sent this deck over, um, their deck played a few different cards. They played some stuff like Clackbridge Troll, um, because obviously Clackbridge Troll makes... Uh, creature tokens virulent play kills the creature tokens so you're basically swinging in for eight or for free on the turn it comes into play uh, they also played like transmogrifying wand for the same reason because they get um, it kills any creature and then they get a two four goat and they essentially have either a zero two goat or a dead goat depending on how many plagues are in play um, but i really wanted to try to focus more on just getting the combo out as quickly as possible and not really worry about those other cards like the Clackbridge Troll or the Transmogrifying one. So that's why we made those changes. So when BB Livid sees this deck, um, that is why we actually made those changes. So I, I didn't think the deck needed this, and we just wanted to try some new cards. So, um, all right. With uh, that being said, we are going to hop into the gameplay. Do want to remind everybody to stay until the end of the video when we uh, go to the wrap up and we talk about what we liked about this deck, what we didn't like and um, anything that we might potentially change. So, all right, let's hop into the gameplay and we will see you guys shortly. All right, so Divine Visitation with uh, Virulent Plague to kill off our own angels and basically machine gun down and ping, 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 ping. That's what we're aiming for. Don't think it's gonna happen. My goal is to get two wins out of five. So, definitely have land. Don't have black, but I think this might be worth keeping. I think we can actually cycle this secluded step. So. Oh, well, hello to you. All right, so um, I think we're just gonna I think we're just gonna assemble the combo as we go. Um, hope they don't really have a crazy removal spell. Okay, well, well, well. All right, so worst worst case scenario, they have. A 3-3 three, three to attack, or a 3-1 to attack with this turn. Not the end of the world. Next turn they will have some 5-1s. Um. Um. So, obviously had we known they were playing Rat Colony... We probably would not have. Yeah, we're just gonna. We're just gonna get him. I don't understand how this is actually still a deck. It's it's really weird that people are playing. A rat colony. I mean, I guess we just remove. And 
guess we're gonna get in. So he's gonna have a four, and I think we're just gonna block. He'll have a four one. And then we just, we don't care. So we're essentially just being toyed with at this point. So four fours, five fives, and then we really, really, really need to hit a swamp there. So, all right, that should be enough of that. I don't know if this deck can actually recover from this. And I mean, he literally has no cards left in his hand. And I'm fairly positive that him seeing another one of these is probably just going to be Scoopsville. Rat Colony. Oh, no, he drew a, he drew a Swamp. All right. This guy just has all of the... I don't think we're going to actually play anything else out here. So... If he gets in, he can get in for 8. And then we can block... All right, well. Still can't make any angels. Here, uh, well, Scryland's something. Don't think we have anything good in the graveyard to get back. A Bishop of Wings or Cruel Celebrants. That's going to go to the bottom. So anything that makes tokens is really good here, and him drawing like a million lands in a row is really good. I uh, don't want another bishop. That's not another card we want. Wow, another land. Okay. So... Okay. So if he attacks here, we're definitely going to block. And then we will Wrath and play another... <laughs> oh, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. So... All right, so if we actually, if we hit another virulent, pl virulent plague, we are golden. And we just did that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to turn off the auto, uh, what was it again? Auto order. And we are going to do this, and we're just going to watch it machine gun. Pew, 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 pew. All the life, all the damage. <laughs> it's it's happening. Uh, uh, <laughs> we don't even have to click anything. Uh, that's the that's the amazing part of this deck. Oh my god. Oh man. That is literally the best thing I'm I'm gonna see all day. <laughs> uh, that was great. 
All right, well, uh, on to uh, the next the next match, the potential next uh, victim. And uh, to celebrate, make sure you are hydrating and drinking your water. Again, uh, it's probably the most important thing that you can remember to do for yourself today. Some people are just getting through every day, drinking all the Gatorade, other health health drinks, soda, Pasta Maestro. All right, well, what are we doing with this hand? I don't like this hand. I'm not too particularly fond of this hand either, but we're going to keep it. We're going to get rid of this own. We are going to start off with the temple. And it's a land. We're going to keep it. Getting to five land, super important. Okay. Don't mind seeing that there. So we're just going to go ahead and do this now. We're going to pop down a swamp. We're going to pass the turn to our, our good friend, the Pasta Maestro over there. We're going to see what he does. Okay. So this is just on his turn, right? Uh, is there man abilities during your turn? Yep. Yep. So. So depending on what he does here, could potentially get him really good. But we also have a Wrath and this Raise the Alarm. Combos really well with this Divine Visitation. So. Alright. Does this make a Knight? I don't know. It makes a Spirit. So he's going to be able to attack for one next turn. I guess we go get a Plains, right? Uh oh. What happened? I mean, like, what do you have that potentially gives your. So we're going to do this, I think. We're going to kind of try to bait out, bait out more creatures. I don't think we really mind taking four here. Plus, we're going to get the, the extra uh, History of Benalia uh, token. That is a lot. Well... I really wish we had a Virulent Plague this match. Because that'd be really, really good. So we do have to be mindful that his... Is this a knight? No, it's just a soldier. Viral and Plague off the top here would be like a disgusting draw. Oh man, I was, I was secretly hoping. Four, five, six, seven. So... If he has the plus one plus one indestructible, then we lose. Why didn't you attack with this? Like, 
Okay. I still think that was incorrect. Right? 100% incorrect. You saved one mana? That's fine. So that's a good thing as we go up to 12. This will actually put us at 16. I think we block like this. We have all the angels. Wow. I did not expect to win that game. But yeah, a virulent plague against that deck with all of his tokens, that would have been that would have been disgusting. Wow. Yeah, that's not a card that I see of a lot in historic history of Banalia. That's just a card that's like one of those, oh yeah, that card used to be really good. So Sarkin the Mind Sculptor. So we do have a Virulent Plague. We do have a uh, Wrath. These Omens of the Dead are their namesake. They're just dead. Uh, I think we have to keep this hand, even though it's really, really bad. We do get a couple Scries. Um, we are going to keep a land there. Of, of course. So. And it's kind of weird seeing somebody take a raise the alarm when you also see a virulent plague. But. Oh, that's. That's why. Well, we definitely have... God, I really don't want to cycle this. We have to cycle this. Don't want to do this, but we have to. might get to all right well idyllic tutor's gone so all we have left is virulent plague not ideal not ideal i don't even want to play this honestly Yep, Nicol Bolas, not too good here. I feel like we... We have to play this. We're not gonna, we're not gonna win this game. I mean, let's just be realistic. This is a hard matchup. They need only two more cards to get back this Croxa. Um... This point. My Discarding that is not ideal, but it really turns off a lot of the cards in their deck. Okay. Oh, on the plus side. You didn't get this one. And it is unfortunate that we got mana screwed. I mean, 
Still only drew, drew four land. Oh yeah, we are. We are not looking good. All right. Sack, sack. So we have no way to remove a Planeswalker. And Croxa comes back. We'll see what they do this turn. Let's see what they do this turn. Croxa. You know, I'm... I do preach a lot that I uh, I think, you know, conceding too early is bad for the game. And uh, we'll see what we draw. Could draw Wrath, but again, Wrath is not going to make a huge difference. Uh, we did it. We drew a Virulent Plague, and we will tell our opponent a good game. Let him do the honors. Oh, man, we've been, we've been got. We've been got. Alright, so, and I I knew, honestly, as soon as we got Thought Erase that we were not going to win that game. I, I honestly don't think that we beat any deck that plays Thought Erasure. Our deck is strictly for the memes and the dreams. And our opponent was just a dream killer. He just uh, doesn't like people having fun, and that is a sad thing. So, we're going to keep this. We have a we have a couple early plays if we need to. Uh, honestly, I really just don't see us playing anything until turn three. Um, and we we have to keep that, even though we can't cast it right now. Definitely one of our main combo pieces. So mono green. We have a blocker for your druid. We do not have a blocker for your other friend there, though. So. Fortunately for us, though, we can do that. And. Now we have to decide if we want to take a chance here. And actually, I don't think we do. We could play the Cruel Celebrant, honestly, because we don't really need it since we have the Bastion in play. Um, this is going to let him get ahead pretty quickly, but... He has five mana to work with. At most, he'll draw like two cards this turn. Honestly, that's that's best case scenario is he just plays that Beast Whisper and that's it. Oh. F. F, F, F. Um, we can afford to take two here. This will put us back at 20. That's unfortunate. We're going to cycle. We are going to be lucky that we drew that. That would have gotten out of control really quickly. And then I really think from here, we just want to go Virulent Plague, Virulent Plague. Sure. You got a 3-3. Three, three. Definitely killed the wrong one. So we're not going to overextend. 
because he might have to overextend. And then if we draw a Wrath, we're still really good. That's pretty good. Oh man, so they all have trample because I mean, why wouldn't it? That blocks seven. Yeah, oh, we really need a wrath here, right? We essentially stayed at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're still alive. If we could draw a raise the alarm next turn. Come on, deck, one time. Oh, God bless America. That was honestly a really close game. Good game. Oh man. Wow. That was a close game, but again, and one more wrath would have been really good, but we had to wrath him when the two beasts was. All right, so yeah, that elves matchup was really close. I'm just trying to replay everything. So he had two beast whispers. We had to wrath. You you can't you can't let those sit. He'll just overwhelm with uh, card advantage there. He'll just overwhelm you. Just. It's just unfortunate we didn't draw another one. So, Mori. Uh, we're going first, so I guess we keep this. I'd love to hit a Plains or a Godless Shrine. Not an omen of the dead. Sorry, sorry. So our opponent is playing knights. Hey, look, Godless Shrine. I can block that. So we did have to shock, so it is like he did get a damage through. On his for, on uh, his turn one. So that's gonna shut him down a little bit. Really good against his uh, his worthy knight. Yeah, pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about being able to just uh, turn off a. Uh, Interaction like that. So three mana, Knight of Malice, pro white. That is unfortunate. It's going to get through a lot of our. I mean, yeah, a lock. Enjoy your free counter. Should we tutor first? God, that Knight of Malice is ridiculous. So 
So what can what can our tutor get? A bastion. A, I mean, I think it has to get the divine visitation, right? Wrath. Bishop of Wings is not a wrath. I think we just take a big hit here. I'm glad he didn't pump, actually. Really glad. I feel like he should have pumped. You are not a wrath. Eight, nine, we're at we're at two. So we have to draw like a raise the alarm. It has to be a raise the alarm, right? Or, wow, we drew a raise the alarm. Wow, I can't believe we drew a raise the alarm there. That just blows my mind. You need triggers or anything? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we're at one. Why do you pump that? We're at nine again, ten, eleven. Environment plague wins the game. Still a chance, still a chance. Ooh, another raise the alarm. That's really good. These have vigilance, right? So I think we stabilized. I think we actually somehow stabilized against this deck. And that's a and that's a really good hit for him. That is a really good hit for his deck. Wow. A block, 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 block. Take seven. But then we gain a bunch. Wow. Oh, uh, this deck is so bad, but it's so fun. And honestly, this Viral and Plague just turning off the Worthy Knights was really good. Wow. Wow. We ended at 30. Oh my god. That's 
so crazy. Oh my god, that was a sweet game. That was a sweet game. Hey everybody, it is time for the wrap up. So we had a lot of fun playing this deck. Um, we actually did not have the best record. We went three and two. Um, the games were, you know, they're kind of long because this deck is kind of slow. It's not trying to do anything crazy super fast. Um, but yeah, this deck, again, it was really cool. We got to uh, combo, essentially combo off one time where we actually just got to actually see the combo in action. And then um, what was it? A couple of the other two times that uh, we won, one was due to us just taking control of the, the board state. And um, the other time was just us getting really lucky with a... Uh, with a raise the alarm off the top and then being able to stabilize with that bishop of wings um, just triggering over and over again as we kept blocking with two two angels since uh they were dying every time we blocked so that was really cool to actually see so super happy that we actually got to see how the how the deck interacts in different ways so changes to this deck um, straight off the bat, I can tell you what I did not like about the deck was the omen of the dead again we were looking for a card that could potentially you know get back a creature if it died um we still might need a uh, effect like that in the deck uh, i don't think it's going to be omen of the sea or omen of the dead and again one of the other reasons we played it was in case we had to use the scry ability um but, and obviously that it had flash we could do it at the end of their turn but i don't think it needs to be in this deck i think we might just want to play a couple of cry of the canarium cry of the carnariums in this deck um, or honestly, maybe just a couple of duresses um, so, or something along those lines. Maybe two diverts, two duresses, mm, two agonizing remorses. Maybe some kind of hand, you know some kind of hand disruption, something like that. Um, everything else, though, I really felt like just came into play where it needed to go. The um, the baffling ends they they were pretty strong when we needed them. Um, could drop that down to three instead of four, and maybe add either you know one of those other one of those other cards that i was talking about um you could also look at adding blue to this deck and making this like an esper shell you would actually get cards like and i know it this it may not be the best card but um you could get cards like mirror made where you could start copying enchantments so you could like that gives you an extra copy of uh, violent plague if you really need that um, you could also play Dance of the Mance, where you get to, you know, if they counter or make you discard any of your enchantments, you can actually just bring those back. Um, but again, not really sure you need to do that. I think you want to keep the combo as, as low to the ground um, just to get it out as quickly as possible. And, and I think that's really where you really want to be with this. All right. Well, uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this deck. Again, this deck's a lot of fun to play. It's uh it's pretty cheap. Um, you know, again, obviously besides the mana base, there's only four mythics. Uh, everything else is, I mean, you probably already have it, honestly, except for the anthologies. Um, and the anthology cards are, are cheap because they are commons and uncommons. So yeah, so I, I recommend giving this deck a try. So um, let me know in the comments below what you think, um, what you liked about this deck, what you maybe uh, saw differently that maybe we didn't see, any changes that you would potentially make to this deck. Again, a uh, big shout out to uh, BB Livid for providing this deck to us. Um, go check out their YouTube channel. The link's going to be down below. And again, um, we, you know, when we first started uh, filming this video, you know, about an hour ago, we had roughly about 980 subscribers. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button on our channel. We're almost to a thousand giveaway at a thousand, uh, hit the like button and hit that bell icon. So again, with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing week. It is Monday after all. And again, check out the new bannings, uh, how everything's working. Those go into effect here in a couple days on arena. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So, all right guys, uh, stay safe and we will see you guys next time.